One year after civil unions became legal in Hawaii, gay marriage is now on the front burner at the state capitol. That's just one of the stories our partners at CivilBeat.com are working on. And joining us live over Skype is Civil Beat reporter Chad Blair. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, Mahalani. So several states already approve of gay marriage, so it's not exactly a surprise that Hawaii would take a look at the issue, right? That's right. It was expected, although it has been just one year since civil unions became law. There are two bills. They're virtually identical, one in the House and one in the Senate, and they would legalize gay marriage essentially by 2014. Uh, having said that, though, there are competing proposals that would ask for a constitutional amendment. They want voters Without to decide or whether or not there should be gay marriage, and that's something that uh, could change the equation. Chad, you may recall in the 90s, you know, there were some really intense protests at the state capitol on both sides of the issue. Obviously, times have changed. Do you expect to see the similar protests this time around? Yes, I do. There were protests for civil unions as well over the last couple of years. I can't imagine that the same groups that have opposed gay marriage as well as supported it, or marriage equality as some say, wouldn't turn out to show their views. It's a very controversial issue a very passionate issue. My guess is that we will have long hearings with people uh, with very good arguments on both sides. Chad, let's talk about yellow tang. And we're not <laughs> talking about the orange juice drink. It's actually an aquarium fish. And uh, it's in danger, right? It is. And it's a beautiful yellow fish that is a favorite of aquarium owners. The problem is, is that the, the fish has been depleted in recent years because everybody's been scooping them up. And there has been actually research programs here in Hawaii that have helped replenish the stock, if you will. Unfortunately, those programs are being threatened by cuts in Washington. You know, with Senator Dan and Noe gone, this is another example of federal earmarks, it will probably hurt something in Hawaii. So that is a concern for organizations like the Oceanic Institute here on Oahu. Well, it certainly is a beautiful fish, and hopefully more can be done to keep it alive. And finally, there's a bill aimed at countering the U.S. Supreme Court's Citizens United decision. What was that decision all about, and what's happening now? Well, the Citizens United decision was huge. It was just a couple of years ago. Essentially, it said businesses, corporations are just like people. They have individual rights, and therefore, they can contribute money to political campaigns. And we saw that they did that last year, hundreds of millions of dollars coming in. This bill, introduced by Carl Rhodes, he's the chair of the House Judiciary, would essentially say that freedom of speech is limited to natural persons, persons like you and me, not businesses. Well, the state attorney general has issued a ruling on that, or an opinion rather, saying, no, you can't do that. It's not going to have any effect on Citizens United. But I can tell you supporters of the bill are still going to push for its passage. All right. Certainly a lot of hot button issues at the legislature this year. Chad, thank you so much for joining us. Anytime ahead. And you can find the complete stories that we just discussed on CivilBeat.com. It is 640. We'll be right back.